Hey, Sun Devils, I'm Rashad Williams. And I'm Mickey Molina. We're students at ASU, and we have something really cool to share with you. The directors of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse filmed a special interview for tonight's screening at Sun Devil Stadium. Hey, Sun Devils, I'm Bob Persichetti. I'm Peter Ramsey. I'm Rodney Rothman. And we are the directors of Spider-Verse, and we're stoked you came out to see it. Wait, what? When we were first brought onto this movie, we had one mandate, which was try to make a movie about Spider-Man like unlike any other Spider-Man movie that's been made. Um, and so that naturally led us to animation, which is a form that could be really expressive for a character with the qualities of a Spider-Man. And uh, and then we really were trying to adapt comic books. And so visually, we, we looked at um, the source material and tried to make a cinematic expression of of comic books for the big screen. One that took advantage of everything that animation could offer, but also the original format, which is panel art. It works great. And we're operating from a place, you know, where we just assume that audiences today want something that looks and feels different and that feels fresh. All of us got into this to make stuff like that, but generally nobody uh, actually wants to pay for that. Uh, we got really lucky uh, working for Sony and in the situation we were in because people really supported us trying to make something that looked different, you know, and trying to push ourselves and push boundaries, and uh, and the movie is the result of that. On a story level, Into Spider-Verse is wild with multiple dimensions, multiple Spidey people. And a Spidey pig. <laughs> and a Spidey pig. <laughs> we wondered if the directors were ever worried the audience would get lost and if they did anything specifically to guide the audience through the complex narrative. When you're telling a story that's as crazy as the story we were trying to tell in Into the Spider-Verse, um, if you just do the crazy, then uh, maybe it'll look cool, but no one will be able to follow it. You know, no one will want to watch crazy that. crazy people. Yeah, yeah, no one wants to watch that more than once. Um, so what you do is you ground it in a really interesting, relatable, and intimate story about a really interesting character. In our case, that's Miles Morales and his family, his mom, his dad, his uncle. The whole movie is basically about them and everything else in the movie, whether it looks crazy or is some crazy concept about a multiverse. It's all really supporting, you know, a family story and a very, very small story in Brooklyn. And that's, in our opinion, what makes the movie work. Exactly. Every time we got lost or, you know, confused ourselves, and we did, uh, the answer was always, what's up with Miles? Let's go back to Miles, what's happening through his point of view? And that was kind of our North Star. In the original comic book series, Peter Parker is a clever working class kid from Queens, New York. Spider-Man, however, isn't inherently white. The film took care to make sure Miles Morales really belonged in the story and that he wouldn't be viewed as a token minority character. This seems especially relevant amidst recent releases like Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Here's what the directors had to say about that. For us, uh, Miles' ethnicity, you know, he's black and Puerto Rican. Uh, in addition to being something like new and fresh and a break from what we've seen before in Spider-Man, it's also something that we just thought was real. You know, you go out on the street in New York, Brooklyn, wherever, you know, any big city, and, you know, there's a million Miles Moraleses walking around. So I think what we strive to do in the movie was present him as somebody that was real, that was relatable, that, you know, had issues and, um, you know, concerns that were just as earthbound and real as anyone else's. And our job as storytellers and filmmakers was to, like, dig into that stuff and make it uh, as dramatic and as interesting and as engrossing as possible. So for us, um, it was taking uh, a, a character, this black teenager, and making and ma being true to him, you know, being true to his story, being real. And in doing that, when you're specific enough, you know, as we tend to find out, that stuff travels. It's universal. Everybody can relate to those problems because everybody has them. Yeah, and it is universal, and every all of his issues are universal. And um, but visually, the, the way we really sort of supported Miles was to make his neighborhood, everything right. about New York, feel like it was either deepening and enhancing him as a character, and, you know, Brooklyn became Miles, um, or the opposite, it became, you know, an obstacle to him as a character. And initially, like the beginning, uh, you know, Manhattan becomes this sort of big blue glass steel barrier that he's got to make it over. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was all again, Miles-centric. Yeah, and the character was invented by Brian Michael Bendis and Sarah Pacelli about eight years ago. But it's very much trying to be faithful to the Spider-Man story and the Peter Parker story, but it's a different version of that story. It's about a different character. It's, uh, it takes place in a different time, but it does strive to be true to the spirit behind it. 
um, in a contemporary way. And, and then all the other characters in the movie are doing the same. You know, we're really reacting to the fact that the Spider-Man story ha is like, has traveled the world and is like a modern myth and a lot of people relate to it, especially because it's a masked character and lots of people can, can project themselves into that suit. So this is a, a movie that works from what the Spider-Man story has become and what it means to people and, and uh, what it can mean to people. Anyone can wear the mask is a profound idea and particularly meaningful for everyone at ASU because as you Sun Devils know, the first sentence of our school's charter says, ASU is a comprehensive public research university measured not by whom we exclude, but rather by whom we include and how they succeed. ASU is about inclusivity, not exclusivity. Here are the director thoughts on the importance of diversity and inclusivity in storytelling, the film industry, and society. One of the big things that struck me about working on this movie and, and then seeing it and seeing people respond to it is how, even though the story is about Miles, it's just as much uh, of, a, of a love letter to the idea of Spider-Man as any of the movies with Peter Parker. And it just shows me that idea of Spider-Man, that anyone can be behind the mask, with great power comes great responsibility. Those ideas are so big that they can kind of expand to fit anybody. You know, so when your story's big enough there's room for all kinds of people to be involved in it. And uh, I think, you know, you can, apply, you can apply that to a movie, you can apply it to a story, you can apply it to a school, you can apply it to a whole country. If the idea is good enough and it's strong enough, then there's gonna be room for everybody in it. Yeah, I mean, a theme of, of being inclusive is just very much baked into what our movie is and has been from the very beginning. It's about a uh, multiverse. It's about a multiverse, you know, so it's, it's a movie that's about the differences between many different characters, and then it's also a movie that uh, that strives to explore commonalities between these characters and things that bring them closer, um, even if they look totally different or are crazy or move in a different way or or whatever. That was very important to us, you know. And since the movie's come out, the most moving thing by far is just is just how that stuff has uh, affected people and just a wide range of people, you know, which is really um, why we you know, wanted the movie to be like that. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. it spoke, we were surprised at the reactions we've received at the, beyond just, you know, <clears throat> representation and diversity of race and culture, gender, it's just been incredible, the, mm -hmm. the responses that we've had. It really has kind of um, been taken, the movie's been taken away from all of us and just sort of, you know, the audience is kind mm -hmm. of, um, yeah. all of you people have taken over and, and made it something of your own. It's very, very cool. We came up with an idea to show how much Sun Devils support inclusivity. We asked the directors if they come to ASU for their next movie if we could fill the infield of Sun Devil Stadium with 5,000 people, each one of them wearing a spotty mask in support of inclusivity and the idea that anyone can wear the mask. Here's their answer. Yes, ASU, of course. If you guys fill this field with masked um, spidey folks, cool. we would come back uh, in probably, yeah. you know, Three years? I might even move down before that. It's, you know, just hang out and wait. But we won't have anything to show. Yeah, we're super, we're, we're super excited. We wish we could be there, actually. You know, like thousands of people on the field. Sun a, Devil Stadium? A Sun Devil Stadium. Is that, that's, we're that's right, that's crazy. Sun Devil Stadium. It's yeah. not like PepsiCo, <laughs> Noxima Sun Devil exactly. Stadium? Um, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah probably. We love Noxima, if, if, it's, if they're sponsoring. There you have it, Sun Devils. Each of you was handed a Spider-Man mask when you walked in. So put on your Spidey mask in support of inclusivity and hashtag anyone can wear the mask. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes a Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome, fame, he's ignored. Action is his reward to him. Life is a great big hang-up. Wherever there's a hang-up, you'll find the Spider-Man.